Hi guys, and welcome back to anti Metro Dimensions. So it hasn't been this that long since last episode, and I can already beat Eternity Challenge 2. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um go for a regular run here. And then um we'll see where I end up. And one thing about this study is that after one clear of an Eternity Challenge, you can get the study after it. Just in case you were wondering. But you have to finish the Eternity Challenge, just not just unlock it. So, um, this run might take a little bit, but I'll see you when we're done, and, let's, and we'll see how uh, far we get. So yeah, um, see you then. Okay guys, I'm back and we've made some good progression. I can get more time theorems, and I think that I'm going to Infinity, and then... I'm going to Eternity for 5 quintillion Eternity points. And then I'm going to get this, for sure. Um, some of these. And I'm going to get, um, I'm just going to max these. And what I was going to do is try, um, the second completion of it. Eternity Challenge 1, because I know that that's the next challenge I should be doing. So we go like this. And then we can actually afford a full tree for Eternity Challenge 1. So I'm going to hold R to get replicated galaxies. And the goal this time is E2000 infinity points instead of E1800 infinity points. But the reward is going to be better this time. Um, and as I said, these first four rewards are going to be weaker. But um, it's fine because soon enough we'll be getting onto the higher level eternity challenges. Like the first four are the lame ones, let's say. Well, particularly the first three are the lame ones. Um, anyway... Um, so, seems really easy so far. Um, it's gonna crunch soon. There we go. Um, and I'm gonna get to E2000 infinity points soon enough. Um, so we are up to E860,000. We're getting closer to E1 million, which will be cool. And I was going to go for an achievement attempt, but I forgot about doing that. I'm going to get a different achievement. It's for starting an infinity challenge inside an eternity challenge. So that was good. And now I'm going to get my replicated galaxies back. Apparently I lost them for some reason. Maybe it's because I did a lot of big crunches in the infinity challenge. Um... I'm going to get my infinity points back up, and then, you know the drill. Um, so then, um, the next challenge I'm going to do is Eternity Challenge 3. Um, and then there's an achievement here for failing an Eternity Challenge. We're going to do Eternity Challenge 4 for that, because you can only fail 4 and 12. Um, this is the achievement I was going to go for. And it has a nice reward, so... Um... It's for having each and all of your last 10 infinities be E308 higher than the previous one, and the reward is that your antimatter does not reset on a dimension boost or a galaxy. Which is kind of cool. So we're almost finished with Eternity Challenge 1 times 2 As they say. I'm going to turn this off. And then wait for my replicated galaxies and... Fingers crossed I'll reach the goal. I, ha I can get 34. Here we go. Um, yes, let's go. We're so close, and... Not quite. But it's okay, we are so close. Um, I'll just turn this on for now. And then when I can reach it, which will hopefully be soon, I'll crunch. Come on. It's taunting me. Oh, it bought something. Um, come on, we're nearly there. 
Yeah, let's go. Ah. Uh. Yes, that's it. What? Want something else? It shouldn't buy things if you can complete the challenge. What else? What else is it gonna buy? I'll just stop it from buying anything else. Sort of savage, but turn that back on. And I now I've completed Eternity Challenge one times two. So then, so now I'm gonna go for an achievement. Um. It's okay if I use a normal build here. Actually, I'm I'm just gonna use a quick build. So active combos well with infinity dimensions. So I'll just go like this for now, and then I will set this to one point eight e three hundred eight and try and get out the achievement. Um, I'm gonna turn it in and okay. So I heard one thing you should do is, because look, this is a little bit more than the e throw a jump, so to sort of minimize, um, like, um, how, like, it's like, it just, like, just skips a few infinity points because the frames jump through so many orders of magnitude, if that makes sense? It's like the trick is to gradually turn on your auto bar. So I'm gonna start with only first dimensions. Um second third. So you sort of turn these on. Um okay, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing. Um Okay, this is just I guess I'm making some progress. Um. What if I... I don't know. I'll just... I'll do the same thing, but with infinity dimension auto buyers. What about that? Um. Seems to be working. I'll let it crunch one more time. I'll turn on one infinity dimension auto buyer. Um I'll turn on the second one. Um the third one. Might have to turn on the third one here. There we go. And our replicant is at pretty good speed now. So I'm going to um I just need five more infinities. I could just get replicated galaxies. Um, because it's still going up the orders of magnitude, so. Um. Here we go. I'm gonna turn the fourth one on here. And then. I'll wait for my infinity points, and then I'll turn on the fifth one. How are we doing? We we only need like three more. Um. And then. I'm. I don't want to get impatient and turn on another one. I'll just. I'll. I'll turn on one now. And then. I'll get some replicated galaxies. And then. We'll go. Um. Yeah, it's gonna crunch soon. I'm gonna turn on number seven. I think one or two more infinities will get the achievement. Um. Okay, we still have a little ways to go, but we can get up to 40 replicated galaxies, so I'm not worried. Um. Okay, that's the achievement. Thank you. I'm gonna set this back to normal. Um, I'm going to turn my last infinity dimension auto bar back on, respect my studies, and I'm gonna um do eternity challenge three. So for that, you just use your eternity challenge two build. Um, 
Maybe I actually want this, actually. For Eternally Challenge 3, I might want 162. Um. Okay, here we go. Can I get it? Oh, no. I have heard of that. The requirement is designed to be, like, sort of... The requirement is sort of notorious. Why am I holding R? I'm using the idle path, for God's sake. Come here, come on. Wait, I also heard something else. I heard that... I know that for unlocking the challenge, you can use a different build for the build you use to actually... Um... Like, do the challenge. Like, you can unlock the challenge, respec, and then... Once you have unlocked it, you won't have to do the requirement again to buy it. Although you will... Um, although there's an exception for that, and that's these two challenges, but we'll get to that. Um, I'm holding R. How many eight dimensions do I have? I need 17,300. What if I turn this off and let my replicated galaxies go manually? So the requirement is 17,308 dimensions. I've heard it's sort of notorious, but um, considering how I have this study, uh, both of these studies, and a lot of people couldn't afford that, I'm sort of confident that I'll reach 17,308 dimensions, but I'm not completely sure. I Like, a lot of people are saying it was hard to reach the requirement, and I heard that Heavy Pell like, tried to make it, like, taunt you, basically. I'm up to 16,000. I need to crunch, but I got like 300 orders of magnitude of infinity points, which is crazy. Okay, I need 45 replicanti galaxies, but, um, that's fine. Um, okay, so, um, I don't know. This episode is probably getting long, but. Once I can do Eternity Challenge 3, I'll end it. Um, so, I'll do this before Eternity Challenge 7, because the Eternity Challenge 7's reward will make, will make it much harder. Um, this one I'll do in Eternity Challenge 4, like I said. Um, this one happens naturally. We're close to all the rest of those Row 11 achievements. Okay, it looks like we've got all our Replicanti Galaxies. We're not at 17,308 dimensions yet, so I have to crunch again. Get my replicated galaxies back, you know the drill. Um, Probably one more crunch, and then I'll get to 17,308 dimensions. And one more thing I can crunch whenever I want, because I don't have to worry about crunching right after a dimension boost or something, because my antimatter doesn't reset. <laughs> That's why this reward is pretty good. And it makes it so that my antimatter doesn't fluctuate everywhere. It just makes the whole thing look much cleaner. Okay, we're up to 16,600. 16,700. We need 17,300. It's just, it's just gonna taunt me, I know that. Okay, we're close. One more big crunch and then we'll be there. Um... So here we go. So I'm gonna change. I'm gonna unlock the challenge and then change my build to actually do the challenge because I think I can do that. Um. Okay, here we go. Um. I need forty nine replicated galaxies. Well, I mean, I can get that much. I don't know if I need all of them. Um, sixteen thousand six hundred. Sixteen thousand seven hundred. 16,800, 900, I'm up to 17,008 dimensions again, but I'm still getting replicated galaxies, and it looks like I'm going to reach 17,300, here we go, this is it, so I'm going to unlock Eternity Challenge 3, um, and then I think I can respec, um, and then... At Eternity Challenge 3 again. And 
I'm going to turn my big crunch on fire on and then I'm going to start the challenge and the challenge is the dimensions 5 to 8 don't produce anything and the dimensional sacrifice is obviously disabled. The reward is increase the multiplier for buying 10 dimensions and the reason for this extra 2 on the end is because one of the achievement rewards is to that the boost for 10 dimensions is plus 1%. So yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye!